life right, cause they can't miss All about the game, that's a cold swish Serving up the truth, call it ruthless Tune in and get your fix from Blake and Fish Sports uh, Moving on though to someone who we mentioned Zach Wilson looked terrific This guy looks a little bit better than terrific Kyler Murray, he's looked unstoppable uh, this year so far and you know 4-0 for the Cardinals I want to say top of the NFC West just looking like a powerhouse I know we were both a little down on the Cardinals compared to the rest of the NFC West and so far we're wrong on that uh, it's only four weeks in but still so, so what are your thoughts on Kyler this year Vic? Uh, yeah, so we were definitely down in Arizona, and we uh, we did acknowledge how much talent they have on both sides of the ball, but we were just thinking that Cliff Kingsbury just couldn't pull it off with this roster, and we were 100% wrong, because yeah. Arizona's trending towards being maybe the number one seed in the NFC. They look like a complete football team. Their front seven is serious. We had questions about their corners. Byron Murphy is playing great. He's getting mm-hmm. his hands on the ball. I think he's intercepting a pass a game, it feels like. Buda Baker is obviously unbelievable. He's always been unbelievable. And their front seven is fantastic with Chandler Jones and J.J. Watts playing big-time football. And Isaiah Simmons looks good and all of that. So Arizona is definitely a good team on defense. Vance Joseph is a really good defensive coordinator. But their offense is really what, what what's crazy to me. It's unstoppable. It, it starts off, obviously, they have – I wore my Oklahoma sweatshirt. I, I, I'm a big Kyler Murray fan. But um, they, he's unbelievable. He is, I think, maybe what Michael Vick could have become if he became more polished. I mean, he's the fastest player on the football field. He plays with an easy athleticism, easy confidence. He has an unbelievably quick release. He's so accurate. He has a really strong arm. And I think he's playing a lot better from the pocket than what we saw his first two years. I mean, we're seeing really, really good decisions. We're seeing him not miss people in the progression or pass up throws over the middle of the field. It's actually unbelievable how he's playing from the pocket. I mean, the throw to Max Williams from the touch, the touchdown mm-hmm. against the Rams uh, over, over the seam, the backs, backside safety is basically starting from the hash, so he's like three yards from the ball. For him to throw that ball with that much anticipation and pace and get it up and down layered, and fit it in Max uh, Williams' chest before Jordan Fuller can get there is unbelievable. Kyler Murray really is. He's an unbelievable athlete. He's an unbelievable talent, and he's showing out. He's probably the MVP of football. Arizona's offense is unstoppable. Chase Edmonds is excellent. Rondale Moore is really good. DeAndre Hopkins hasn't even gone, like, super crazy this season Mm -hmm. because he hasn't had to because they've had great contributions from A.J. Green. Christian Kirk is still consistently solid. It's just a really stacked offense. They spread you out and put stress on the defense. And then they have the one guy that nobody can account for. I mean, I'm seeing people spy him. I'm seeing people have the angle on him. And he's making people look silly. That little hesitation that he gives before he mm-hmm. reaccelerates is unstoppable. And then his throwing ability, it just it's just unreal. It was unreal in college. And it, it was really good. It's been very good his entire time in the NFL besides uh, the few games last season when he hurt his left shoulder. But you add that in with now that he's seeing the field better and he's progressing and processing the game much better, going through his progressions much better. It, it's really unstoppable. I don't see anything stopping Kyler Murray. I, I think that, you know, every year the third-year quarterback kind of takes the leap at, or – Josh, every year we get one quarterback that goes from we knew he was really talented and really good to like, okay, he's one of the four or five best guys in the NFL. It was Josh Allen last year. It was Lamar the year before, Mahomes the year before that. I think this year it's Kyler Murray and Herbert. I think those two guys are going to be in the top five. And I think that, you know, I, I think Kyler Murray, honestly, we did our NFC West division QB rankings and I had them ranked Wilson Murray second, and I had Murray just a hair over Stafford because of his running, Stafford third, and then Garoppolo lands fourth. Honestly, I think Murray's the best quarterback in the NFC West now. I think mm-hmm. Murray's better than Russell Wilson now. Really? what What's changed from then to now? Is it uh, I just think Murray has more juice. I think it's just Murray has more juice. And then I, I still see Russell Wilson passing up throws in the progression and passing up easy completions that are there. I, I just think Kyler is playing on, on with way more control and command than Russell Wilson at this point. I think 
The other thing for Russell Wilson, obviously, is that he uh, is in a new offense and he's still adjusting to that. But I, I don't know. I, maybe it's the fact that Kyler has a little better offensive line. They're protecting him well. The acquisition of Rodney Hudson was huge for them. But, uh, I, I mean, I, I don't think at this point it's, it's a hot take to say. But I, I think he's the best quarterback in the NFC West. Mm-hmm. And that's no disrespect to Russell Wilson, who's unreal. Yeah, of course. With all due respect to Russell, Fish thinks With Kyler all due is respect. better. Yeah. So yeah, kind of on a similar note to you, I also, you know, gun to my head right now, I'd I would take Kyler as the MVP. And I think a couple couple of the main reasons just from the past few games. Now I know we mentioned his supporting cast. I feel like these these sub, like they have like four pretty solid. They have one great, amazing, one of the best receivers in the game, and then they have three guys. AJ Green, Kirk, and Rondale, who are solid. I, I don't think any of them are like a dominant number two. Um, tight ends, I, I don't think Max Williams is great. Running backs, you know, Chase Edmonds, he's really, really great receiving back fast. James Conner is kind of the bigger, you know, goal line guy, and he's been kind of popping off um, on the goal line scoring. But I feel like individually, most of these guys aren't that special. Like, I feel like Kyler Murray combined with them is what makes this offense so special. And it's not because they're bad. Like, I don't think A.J. Green is bad. I don't think Rondell Moore is bad. But having Kyler with just a ton of solid guys is way too much for a defense. Just way too much. And his escapability from the pocket kind of kind of negates not having the best O line. I feel like Aaron Donald. It didn't matter if he got back there because Kyler is too quick now. He is just too fast for him. I know you mentioned the hesitation move on the linebacker where he slowed down and then just accelerated past him. I want to say it was like third and 15 that he did that on, and he ran for the first down. I don't know if there's any other quarterbacks in the league besides maybe Lamar that can do that. So the third and 16, yeah. Yeah, I mean, really just the way I view it is he is just carrying this team. Now, I'm not saying that they're not talented, these other guys, these running backs, these receivers, but if you took Chase Edmonds and put him on the Ravens, would that solve their running back crisis? I don't think it would. If you did that with James Conner, no. If you put Rondell Moore or, like, A.J. Green on the Packers, would that solve their number two? No. I just think they have a ton of just solid guys, but with Kyler Murray – it is just an engine that is just nonstop, and it is a great, great offense. And their offense is winning them games. Kingsbury's kind of proved us wrong in the fact that – Yeah, we he's looking good. We weren't entirely sold on him yet. We wanted to kind of see it. Well, guess what? For the first four weeks right now, we have seen it and then some because they've been fantastic. Yeah, and he's done a really good job with their offense. They've been a lot more creative in the run game than they have been in past. They've been able to spring running back runs and have success running the football that way. They've been a more physical football team. They actually might be the most physical football team in the NFL. That team is fast and it hits. And so there's a lot of things about Kingsbury that we were just wrong about right now. Through four weeks, it just looks like the things that we originally thought are just wrong. And I 100% agree with what you're saying, and I 100% get what you're saying. Rondale Moore, A.J. Green, Chase Edmonds, it's, it's a really talented supporting cast when you have Kyler Murray in this offense. And yeah. they're not the, they're, you know, they're not this super talented, crazy talented offensive skill in terms of skill guys in other situations. But in this offense, with this quarterback and the skill set he has to maximize the things they do best, exactly. it's unbelievable. Like Chase Edmonds is a really, really special receiving back out of the backfield, and Kyler Murray, Murray, excuse me, utilizes it. And then I just wanted to re-highlight the third and sixteen play you brought up. That play was unbelievable. That I feel like that was the play that the Rams just threw their hands up. Like, what are we supposed to be? You call the perfect yeah. defense. You're in the right coverage. You have a guy spying Kyler Murray and Kenny Young, who's pretty fast. And yes. Kyler Murray just embarrasses him in the open field, gets to the sideline, and then just it he gets the 16 yards. It felt like in half a second he traveled 16 yards, walks out of bounds, and he's got the ball palmed in one hand, a little Michael Vick style. It's just unfair at this moment. And I think the biggest thing is going to be, will he get beaten up this year the way he did last year? Because he's looked special from the moment he's come into the NFL. He was special in 2019 as a rookie. He was special for a lot of last year before he got – 
that left shoulder banged up on Thursday night against Seattle. And this season, it's not just he, he's been beyond special. He's taken that next step as a quarterback, and he looks like one of the top. Again, I said he was better than Russell Wilson now. He looks like a top five guy in the NFL. There's no doubt about it. He's with Mahomes and Rodgers and those guys. So to me, the biggest question is, will he be able to play all 17 games without, you know, getting a little bit banged up or beaten up? Because if he isn't, if he is, then I, I think Arizona can beat anybody because there's nothing you can do at this point to account for what he does because he is such a special runner and such a special thrower. Mm -hmm. And I think he, they kind of just emphasized how good they were because the Rams have been hyped up, right? They, they go, they play Tampa, they whoop on them. Everyone's getting hype, you know, Stafford, this Stafford, that Rams are back and the Cardinals just, they blew them out. It, it really wasn't particularly close, and they dropped over 30 on this defense that has the Vaughn and Donald and Ramsey, and they have a good scheme, and they have all this, but it just didn't matter. It didn't matter. And off, a defense that shut down Tom and co. just got destroyed by Kyler and, and Kingberry. Yeah, and then the other thing is we've talked about Kyler, and obviously Kyler's looking special. I touched on the defense at the beginning. Vance Joseph gets them ready to play, and Vance Joseph is a really, really good defensive coordinator. He's really good at game planning, especially for the shanahan McVay offense. It felt like watching that game, I was watching it simultaneously with the Niners games, and I felt like this at other times, but Arizona hasn't had the talent maybe to pull it off fully on defense. Now they have that talent. It felt like the Cardinals were sitting on all the Rams' staple concepts. It felt like they knew how to play Cooper Cup. They were getting physical with Cooper Cup. Which is how you, which is the best way to guard Cooper Cup, and and so it felt like they were they were all over what the Rams wanted to do offensively, and that's that's a testament to Vance Joseph getting them prepared to play, and they did a really good job with all aspects of that offense, and it's a really high powered offense. Like I don't think that Sunday's game changed anything. I think about the Rams. I still think the Rams are one of the best teams in the NFC. There's no doubt about it. It just gave me greater conviction that Arizona is a special football team, too. And it makes me worried as a Niners fan looking at this division and the fact that the I watched the Niners Seattle game and I didn't think Seattle looked very good, especially on defense. My biggest takeaway from this game is from that game was, wow, Seattle is not very good. And the Niners were down 28, 13 with four minutes left in the ball game. So that's a topic for another day, obviously. But yeah, Arizona looks very good. And Kyler Murray, he's unreal. Definitely.